I'm Felicity and I'm Head of Maths here at Cardinal Newman College. Um, I'm going to talk you through the A-level Maths specification and talk to you about why you would want to study Maths and why you would want to study it here at Cardinal Newman College. Within the Maths A-level course, we study three different components. We study pure maths, mechanics, and we study statistics. Pure maths links to a lot of topics you already will have looked at at GCSE. So things like thirds, indices, quadratics, trigonometry, algebra, they all count as pure mathematics topics. So we look at those in more depth and more detail. And we also look at some new topics as well. But all of the stuff we do builds on that type of maths, okay? Very, very heavy emphasis on algebra. The other side of maths that we do is the applied maths. So that involves some mechanics and some statistics. Mechanics is the maths behind physics. If you like physics, that's great. If you don't, it doesn't matter because we do it from a very mathematical, algebraic perspective. So we look at the motion of objects, considering things like their acceleration, uh, how far they've traveled, how fast they're traveling, things like what would happen if we had an object on a flat surface, what would happen if friction was involved, what would happen if it was on an inclined surface, and working out different quantities for those different scenarios. We then also look at statistics. So statistics is analysing data, working with probability, looking at hypotheses and testing how confident we are that they might be correct or incorrect. Um, so that is the content that makes up the A-level maths syllabus. For that, we have three exams at the end of the two years. So all of your grade, your A-level maths grade, is based on those examinations. There is no coursework whatsoever. Two of the exams are the pure maths, so two thirds of your A-level is made up of the pure maths, and the other third is the applied. So the third paper, half of it is mechanics and half of it is statistics. The entry criteria for A-level maths is a grade six at GCSE maths. So if you get that grade in your GCSE, then you are capable of coming here to do A-level maths. We always say that the better you can do in your GCSE and the better understanding you have of GCSE, the easier your life is when you get here. So if you work hard and try and get as good a GCSE maths grade as you can, then that will massively help you with your A-level maths. So A-level math is our most popular subject here at Cardinal Newman College and students study it with a whole host of other subjects. Because maths is such a valued A-level to have, it allows you to think logically and analytically and, and people really, really value those skills, then it's worth studying it whatever your other interests might be. So whether that's science, written subjects, art subjects, A-level math is still such a fantastic option to have. Here at Cardinal Newman College, we are known for the level of support that we offer our students, and that's something that is definitely true within the maths department. If you come to study here, there will be so many opportunities for you to get extra support if you need it. We have CP sessions, so they can form um, small group tutorials, so sessions where you would come in with a smaller group and you would recap the material that we've done in class. They might be drop-in sessions where you get one-to-one -one help from a teacher. We also have maths mentors, where our very able year 13 math students are available to help our year 12 math students with any homework or things that they might have studied in class. We also have lots of enrichment opportunities and things that you can get involved with outside of your normal lessons. So we have things like the Math Inspiration Roadshows, they either work online or sometimes uh, we go to a theatre and view those. We have the Math Challenges, so we have the UKMT which you might have done at high school already. If you do well in that, that can progress you to some more challenging uh, competitions that you can get involved with. We also do university visits where we will go and take part in their open activities, take part in problem solving, support with A-level maths. We also have a programme that supports you in applying to prestigious universities, so places like Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial, Warwick, where there might be entrance exams. So we have support for that and additional sessions which will help prepare you for those examinations. The vast majority of students that study A-level maths go on to higher education, so go on to study at university. Um, lots of them go on to study subjects that are maths related, so whether that might be sciences, medicine, dentistry, economics, uh, even things like psychology have a level of statistics in them. So a lot of our students go on to degrees that use their A-level math knowledge. Obviously, we also have a good number of students that go on to do math degrees or engineering or physics, and they really do require a high level of mathematical knowledge. Because mathematics is a subject where we get those logical and analytical skills, even if you go on to do a subject that isn't particularly related to A-level maths, often students find those skills useful in their future careers, even if it's not as relevant to their degree subject. 
Statistically, students that study A-level maths earn 10% more than students who don't. So in their future careers, they find that they have a really high earning potential because of those skills that they get from their A-level maths subject. Thank you very much. I hope that's answered all of your questions about studying A-level maths here at Cardinal Newman College. If there is anything else that you wish to know, please don't hesitate to get in touch.